We got us another gun review today. That's right, motherfuckers. Target's up in my sight. Throwing some lead on down that pipe. Bullets fly, inhale the smoke. We shoot these guns, it ain't no joke. If you're looking for some gun information, well, you stop at the right place. There ain't no need to look any further. The Whiskey Drinkers, we got your back, buddy. Whiskey Drinkers, gun reviews. Pistol Whiskey This here's Clint. I'm half the whiskey drinkers. Jim Bob can't be here. Well, he's on his he's on a hunt for me. He's on a mission. I sent him to every gun and ammo store there is in the Tri-County area trying to find me some damn ammunition because it's getting pretty scarce out there. So let's get right into it. What do we got for you? We got this here. Something I've been trying to get my hands on for quite some time now, and I finally did. Now this is the uh the upgraded model, if you will. This here is the Ruger PC charger. Now there is no ammunition in this. I've double checked it a hundred times. There, are magazines out. You can see there's nothing in it. Clear. Nothing. Nothing. So, what is this monstrosity you might ask? Well, it's a nine millimeter. It is uh, made by Ruger. This is their PC charger. Now I did some reading, and apparently they had a uh, Ruger charger, and it was a, a semi-automatic rifle. Well. Ruger's went not done themselves. What they did here was they made themselves a, I don't even know what you want to call this, a thing of beauty, a work of art, a, just a masterpiece. So, as I said, this thing has been slightly upgraded. It has the uh, swing out. It's got a lot added to it. It's got different modes to it. Got a lot, got to have a lot for home defense. It's got a uh, red dot on here. Flip up sights or scope mounts. We got green, we got red, different intensities. It's pretty snazzy. The only thing is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this on there because it is quite big and bulky. But it's quick release, just not that easy. Um, the light is also kind of quick release, just twist it, done. The, the folding stock, however, takes a uh, Allen wrench for it to come off. But without the Allen wrench, well, we're gonna leave that on there actually, but this is what you get. Uh, like I said, minus this, we'll take that, but just there, like that's not even there, that's what you get out of the box. Um, there's some really, really nice features to this. One is you got the uh, reversible magazine ejector. You can put it there, or you can take it off and put it on the other side, which I think is brilliant. Same with your charging handle, you can unscrew this, put it on the other side, it's already got the groove cut out. I think that is just a genius thing. Uh, because hey, let's face facts, not everybody's left or right handed. You got your uh, stop here, so whenever you go whenever you go to present, your hand just stops against that and you're good to go. Keep that elbow in. I'm doing it inside. I mean, you know, I got room, I can do whatever I want. But that there keeps your hand from going up too far. Now they do make, I've seen aftermarket, you take this off, there's only a single, uh, what is that thing? Single hex bolt thingy in there. You can take that thing out, put a full grip on it if you want, which I might do. I kind of like that idea. Oh, let's see here. Some other things. The damn table's moving away from me. Some other things I really like is uh, there's a button under here. It's only on the right side, but this here is what locks it back. So that way it's open. It stays open because the magazine's in there. Take the magazine out. Now it shuts. I like that. I really like that it keeps it open like it. But one of the most impressive things that I have to say, bar none, hands down, is that this part comes off. Now it's pretty simple. Open the bolt like that. Push that little button up to keep it open. Now underneath there, I'll do it like this so you can see. There's a little button right there. And what you do is you push that button forward, twist that, and just look at that. It starts coming apart on its own. Right there, the whole thing comes apart just like that. 
So right there, we just made this thing a whole lot smaller. Now this back here, now like I said, this does not come with it, but I highly recommend it because without it, it makes shooting this thing a little weird. Um, this one is extremely stiff for some reason, so I'm having a hard time with it. It should just be a pull up and over, but for some reason, this thing is really hard. There. But look how small that is. Look how small that is. You can put that in your backpack. Women, if you got a big enough purse, you can put it in there. Of course, you'd have to learn how to put it together real quick. Like that. You're ready to rock and roll. It's that simple. Really like that. Really like that. Uh, one thing for you Glock users out there. Two things, actually. Let me say that. Two things. One, your magwell here, this comes out. Because this here is a Ruger uh, magazine, 10 round capacity to come with it. So, with that being said, this comes out and they actually provide you with a Glock magwell to go right down in there. So you can put your Glock magazines in here. That's a lot of the reason why I like this and was really interested in getting one because I run a Glock 19 as my EDC, my everyday carry. So that way I can have both of them on hand and accept the same magazines makes a lot of sense plus it's a good reason to go buy more magazines that's just my opinion but what do i know um let's see what else here really 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 fun to shoot i gotta say that now i said it does have some weight to it even without even being stripped down without having the goodies on it it has some weight to it with that being said when you're out there and you're firing there's nothing i mean it just this thing holds so nice and Whenever you're firing, there's just there's you know, a little bit of recoil, you know, went off, but it doesn't kick up at all because all the weight is kind of at the front end of it. So it just, whenever you're pulling that trigger, it just holds it down. It's beautiful. Highly recommend it. Highly. So, like I said, this here, let's go over some of these uh, extras here. Um, this handle is from SB. Uh, what was the number on it? Nine. I don't know. I'll put it down in the description with with this uh, this foldable uh, what's that thing called? I'm sorry, I just brain fart there. Foldable stock. That's what this is. I'll put it down in the description so you can go find yourself one of these. It's a little discouraging. Like I said, this thing didn't come with a stock. So whatever you're trying to hold it like this to shoot it. Because of course I had to do that before I got stuck. But I'm trying to hold it like this and shoot it. It's um, it's it's a little weird. It's a little weird. But once you get the stock, you get that thing tucked in there. Oh my God! It's so so nice, so comfortable. All right. Anyways, SB folding stock. Uh, can't remember the number. I want to say 1913. I don't know why that's popping in my head. That's probably not it, but that's popping in my head. This light right here. Now I know what you're thinking. Why do you got a light? Well. This, like I said, is my home defense gun. So this is going to be going in my nightstand. Plus, I like the fact that it's got a real nice bright light. Woo! Um, really bright. It's got uh, different modes, so that's low. Then we got, maybe that's high. Hold on. That's high. That's low. That's ultra low. Strobe. SOS. Um one thing i kind of wish and maybe you can maybe i just haven't found it i haven't looked at it or realized it or not um but i wish it was programmable because i more than likely just want it on strobe um but i don't like the idea of having to click through and go through all of them just to get to that especially if somebody's in my house and i'm like pulling up on them, i want to be able to throw that strobe on and distract them right away maybe you can i don't know um this is a uh who makes this thing? I don't know. There's just an S on it. Uh, I don't know. I have to look it up. Where did the phone go? Let me see who makes this thing. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. Because I get most of my stuff off of Amazon. Because they usually have the best prices. Uh, I'm seeing prior orders. All right. This is a Povast P-O-V-A-S-T-5. 
modes, tactical flashlight with Picatinny rail mount. Now, one thing you might have noticed that this mounts on the side, and that is because if you're going to have an optic, you got to have this thing on the side so that you can see with your optic optics, you know. I mean, I know you're supposed to keep your eyes, both eyes open, because uh, that way you can get your peripheral. But I, I, it just feels like I need that grip there. I mean, it's it's not nice shooting it like this, but it, I don't know. Maybe it's the AR in me. It just feels like I need a grip, front grip. Um, but you got to have that side mount so that your optic can see down through there. Um, let's see here. Oh, I guess it does say Povast on the side there. I just have. Oh. Did I hit thought? Oh. No, that doesn't do anything. Oh. Maybe I don't have that tight enough. No, it's tight. Oh. I'm going to tighten that up and adjust it. Um, the other nice thing about this light, this Povest, is on the bottom here, it's got a little cover there. This thing's USB charged. You ain't got to put batteries in it. You just charge it up with some USB and a USB charger, you're good for a while. All right, second here, I got the, uh, what is this, UTG red dot here. Uh, this is a VG1704EZ81, made in China. Uh, glad Jim Bob's not here because Jim Bob does not like things made in China. However, I happen to like this thing. I had it on a couple different things. Um, had it on my, uh, what's that thing called? Uh, inline pistol. 50 caliber inline pistol. That thing's fun to shoot. But we got um, red dot with uh, varying, uh, varying intensities. And then we got the green dot with also the varying intensities in, as well. Uh, flip up caps are nice. Keep your optics clean. Uh, one thing I don't like about it though is I, li I love the quick release. I wish the stock actually had a quick release. That's something I could probably upgrade in the future. But the only thing I'm seeing with this, and maybe there's a way to tighten it down, I just haven't looked into it yet, which there probably is because there's a screw right there. So yeah, I could probably tighten it down. Whenever I put this on here, oh, get it sit straight on there. Flip that. Oh, it's not even on there. What am I doing? Get, get that on there. Get down on mm, that was loud. Get down on there. There we go. There. Once that's down on there, it um well when you first put it on, it's nice and tight, but it doesn't there it goes. It's got a little bit of wiggle to it. So I'm gonna have to Yeah, I think all I gotta do is put an L wrench in there and tighten that up. I never messed with these ones at all. I always just did the regular ones and just tighten down by hand, but I got to tighten up. But even with that said, I mean, I ran through some rounds and it didn't move. Uh, I had to keep it back away from the flashlight a little bit because then I couldn't flip these up. However, like I said, I might uh, might get rid of that and just put a regular optic on there. Regular uh, low profile, um, low profile reflex red dot. Um, the other thing with that is, might have to put it in front of my light because I don't know if I'm going to have enough room there unless unless I get a different one of these that hangs puts the light down here which ideally is where I would like it to be uh, this light does come with a um, what's that called uh, a pressure pressure switch so you take the back off here you screw the other black back on it has the little wire that comes out then you can just put some tape on right there so whenever you grip and as soon as you grip it you can actually turn it on and off with that pressure switch those are really nice um, I didn't want to put that on here because I didn't want anything extra to be able to be caught up so I figured I would just leave that off um, I don't know what else to say about it I love this thing like I said threaded barrel just unthread that little cap right there thread yourself on a silencer or a uh, suppressor or flash I like to call it a flash mask 
just because it sounds kind of cool. Flash, man you, got, you got, man, you got yourself a flash mask on that thing right there? I'm like, man, I got a flash mask on here. What that does is just hides the flash. As you can see in the video, there's a little bit of flash comes out of it because, hey, it's a short barrel, really, at the end of the day. But I love this thing. Absolutely love it. Got to get myself a sling. Um, that's definitely on the list. Uh, I'll do another video where I switch out the magwell to accept the Glock mags. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. This is just a, my opinion on this machine right here. Like I said, I love this thing. Absolutely love it. Look how beautiful it is. It looks like something Arnold Schwarzenegger would carry, really. This might be Arnold's uh, concealed carry. Never thought about that. Hmm. All right. Well, one other thing I might want to mention is uh, times are hard. Bullets run low. Um, I might have went through maybe 200 rounds today through this thing. But uh, the times are just going and plinking away are over. Um, last I saw, I think 9mm on the cheap end was going for 60 cents a round. And one that long ago, they were 15 cents a round. So the days are plinking are over. The day for more precision, yeah, I think it's come. So, hey, go out to the range, be safe, be ready. Be on guard. Be happy. Uh, be some other things. Be careful. Safety first. You heard it right here from Clint. Safety first. Um, that's it. Ain't got nothing else. All right. I'm going to play. See you later. This here is a 9mm. It is a pistol. Let me reiterate. It is a pistol. This is not a rifle or an AR or anything like that it is a pistol you have to get yourself the background checks that you would for a pistol it's got a six and a half inch barrel on it and the overall length of it without the stock is 16.5 inches and I'm gonna tell you there's some weight behind this thing now on top here we got the Picatinny rail it's not a very long one but it's there you got the uh, charging handle is universal means you can unscrew it from one side, screw it on the other side in case you're left or right handed. Doesn't matter. The same thing can be done with the uh, with the magazine release. As you might have noticed, the end of the barrel is threaded. That's a half inch by 28. So if you're going to get yourself a suppressor or something of that nature, make sure you do it legally and make sure you get it for the right size. Magazine, that's 10 round. But of course, you can always get the extended mags. Just get them before something happens and you can't get them no more. I'm not going to get into that. This thing here has got a 110 twist in it. So it's going to give that bullet a little extra precision. Now this thing MSRPs, that's the uh, manufacturer suggested retail price for $7.99. But I picked this one up for a little bit less. So there's deals out there to be had. The receiver is made of L aluminum alloy. The receiver finish you might be wondering is a top three hard coat anodized. That means it's going to stay nice and black for a while. Barrel material is alloy steel. It's a blue barrel. Can't tell, but it's blued inside there. Ain't got no sights on it, but it's got the Picatinny rail, so you can put your own on there. Whatever you like. Now, the weight of this thing, it's a little more than you'd expect. 5.2 pounds. 